Howdy, thanks for joining me. I'm Wayne. Picked up this indoor outdoor wireless thermometer here. We're going to open this and show you how to use it. All right, let's open this thing up. What do you say, okay? We'll just cut us a little entry here. go look at there there's the thermometer there's the transmitter there's the instructions instruction sheet actually see we'll get this thing going here it takes looks like two double A's here and triple A's here we'll get this going and show you how to use it okay Let's put some batteries in this, okay? Push that little thing down right there and it comes off. Double A's for the outside transmitter. Remember the negative goes to the spring, okay? Same way with the other side, okay? Now, yeah, right down inside here, there is an ABC, okay? In case you have more than one Transmitter, okay? Put that back in there. There we go. See it blink there? On the back of the remote, of the reader, there's a little bar right there that opens that up. This takes triple A's, three of them. Once again, this wire goes to the negative. Okay, put the back back on, remove this, okay, now we need to set it up. On the back there is a button that says set, press and hold that, and it comes here. Okay, Fahrenheit, we got it set for Fahrenheit. Hold the button down again. Okay, there's your time. The time is 9.47, so we'll set that at, well, let's easily go down, wouldn't it? Nine. Hold it down, it'll go fast. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, Fahrenheit, we got that set, okay. There's our indoor temperature. This thing is set up so it can use three different transmitters. See it? It's going between A, B, and C. There's A, there's our transmitter. It'll sit there for a few seconds, and you'll go to looking for the second one on B. If you use the second one, you set it on B. You use a third one, you set it on C, and then it'll go back to A, which is the one we have. So there it is, see? So it reads temperature outside. It says 89. Okay. Well, you see, it takes a few seconds for the outdoor temperature to sync with the transmitter. The outdoor is on top. There's your time, and there's your indoor temperature. It says 81 in here. I guess these lights are a little hot, aren't they? Okay. We're going to take this outside and set it up. We'll show you how we do that, okay? It's got a place here you could just put a wire through it and hang in a tree if you want to, but I've got a place out there where it's not in the sun. If you put it directly in the sun, it's going to affect your temperature, okay? All right, let's go take it outside. As you can see, I have an old one out here that's just about to quit working, so I got a screw right there in the wall. Right here is a spot. Just Flip it in there like that and it's ready to go. All right, so go back inside and let it start reading temperatures. 
All right, you can see I got the outdoor one set up. It says it's 83 outside. It was 106 here yesterday, so this is early in the morning, so we'll see how it does, okay? It says it's 81 in here. But these lights are pretty hot, so that's how you work this thing, okay? All right, if you want to view the high temperature for the day, press and hold that up button till you get this little symbol on the side here. See that little symbol right up here? Now you press up and it'll show you the high for the day. If you press the down, it'll show you the down for the day, okay? Now it goes away, it comes back. There's your temperatures. That's how you get the high and low temperatures for the day. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, that way you won't miss any. We got a lot more of these. Check out our playlist. Also, check out the description below, and we will see you next time.